Here is one of Martin's all-time favorites, the macadamia nut chocolate caramel. Makes him think he's in Hawaii. So a little tip that you should know if you're shopping at Costco, if you see items with an asterisk, Hey, good morning and welcome back. Today is the weekend. That is always exciting to me. The weekends mean it is time to slow it down a little bit and not have too much of an agenda. Today, the only real plan thing that we have, we are heading over to Costco. There are a couple of things that we need. Well, a couple of things that we want. There is one item in particular that we actually need. So needs versus want. What is the item that we need? We need coffee. We are almost out and we won't make it through tomorrow morning and that will be an ugly sight if we don't get to have our coffee first thing in the morning. So we are gonna head over to Costco and get it. Normally we like to do the Instacart where we just order all of our stuff through our phone and the items show up at our house. However, when I tried to do that this morning, it said that we wouldn't have delivery service until tomorrow and that's gonna to be too late for us. We might not be around tomorrow. So we are gonna do good old fashioned in-store shopping today. It'll be kind of fun. Haven't been over to Costco in a couple of months and it'll be fun to see what they have in store. So we'll take you along with us and we'll just see what happens with the rest of our day. at Costco remember when I said I was super excited that it was Saturday well super excited on a Saturday when you go to Costco I'm not sure about that my excitement level might get ready to change the parking lot is jammed and we're looking at these Martin likes to have a, a beard trimmer and the current one we have is way back in the day when I had horses so we're talking long ago and he's been using those so this one for 50 bucks that is like a really good deal so I think he's gonna get that it's already feeling a little dangerous in here we haven't gotten anything on our list but we keep getting distracted by stuff I like this cereal keeper look at how narrow these are and they would not take up nearly as much room and you get two of them for 20 bucks we might have to put one in the cart so a little tip that you should know if you're shopping at Costco, if you see items with an asterisk, those are items that are not going to be coming back into the store. If you see them ending with a seven, that means it's a warehouse markdown. So this particular one is kind of a perfect storm of two things going on. This tells us that this item is not coming back in stock and it also tells us that they have marked it down. So it could mean could mean a couple of things. Um, I'll show you another one over here. This guy here. This one just has an asterisk. It does not have the number seven, but if you're wanting this item, you should get it now because it will not be coming back. We just made it over to the ultimate need. Remember I said need versus wants? This is the need, the coffee, and it is $7 off sale. today. Woo. Awesome. What's the score? This was totally on my list. I saw it online, and this is one that they don't have very often, so we are gonna get it. We had it last summer. Some friend of ours had it and it is so amazing. Sometimes this happens when we're in here that Martin, he is going so fast that I am forgetting things. So I have to backtrack and get some of these extra things I wanted. We are heading over to the truck to load 
all of our stuff in. It was uh, it was successful. We spent more than we wanted to, but that tends to happen when you go to Costco. But one of the added items, it was time for us to renew our membership, so that always adds a little cost. Well, we're back from Costco. Mm -hmm. When we loaded the stuff in the truck, I thought, man, we just really didn't get that much stuff. But now that we have it sitting on the counter, there is a lot of stuff. So I'm just gonna give you a quick peek at what we got. We got our normal croissants, our eggs, strawberries, turkey, string cheese. We got these fun uh, red apple chips, some pirate booty for Shelton. There is the beard trimmer we were looking at. These little snack and salami cheese packs. Parmesan cheese, the monk fruit sweetener. I want to try that in coffee and see how that stuff tastes. Our three pack of organic milk, cheese, wedges, uh, more of the sockeye salmon spread. That seems to be a staple at our house. Paper towels, chewy bars, coffee. That, that was the only need that we had. Some lettuce, the guacamole, light bulbs, uh, protein drinks lemonade and then we got these cool salad containers i'm sorry cereal containers for shelton to use for his cereal so that is everything we got martin loaded it all in with some help from shelton didn't didn't uh, sweat too much <laughs> the next part of what we want to do is get our receipt scanned into fetch rewards if you haven't used fetch rewards i highly recommend it it's an app that you can put on your phone, and once you go shopping at many of the local places, you can scan your receipt right on in, and you'll end up earning points. And with those points, you can get lots of cool things. You can get gift cards for things. Um, you can get free stuff. It's really cool. So Martin is working on scanning it in. And as soon as he does it, hit submit. He is going to get an awesome, awesome, he got 25 points added for just putting that receipt in. It's pretty cool. We have made a quick pit stop at our local Fred Meyer. Martin is going to go fishing with Mike, our neighbor, tomorrow, and he needed to get a fishing license to do that. He tried to do it online but was not successful. So uh, Fred Meyer's up here, they sell fishing license, so he's running in to take care of that real quick. Shelton's with him. Then we are headed out. We have a couple of uh, places that we think would be really great to capture some footage with the drone. So we are gonna, we're gonna go do that just as soon as they're back in the car. Martin and Shelton are sitting in the back of the truck. They are flying the drone out of the back of the truck, which is super awesome. I think we're gonna be able to get some really great footage uh, going through here. I'm the driver and they are flying along right over the truck and um, some really gorgeous wetlands out here. The cattails. I hear a train going by up ahead which is kind of cool. This is totally fun.
we are back from being down at the Ridgefield uh, Wildlife Refuge. It was lots of fun. I was the driver, so I didn't get to take too many um, shots, and I forgot a battery for my GoPro, so that kind of stunk. Took a little bit of video on my phone, but we had a lot of fun. They flew the drone around and got some good footage down there, and now we, I think we're just going to call it a night, settle in, sit on the couch, find something good to watch on TV. I'm kind of thinking maybe Hamilton. We haven't seen that yet, although it is a big, long commitment. We will have to see. But thanks for hanging out with us today, and we'll see you next time. Bye.